Time for every <laughs> NFL game on the slate. Uh, it is time for the witching minute. Uh, we're going to go through, uh, and we're going to go in from me to Zach to Connor to BMAC and back up to me. Um, and we're going to go through every game with the spread. Um, and you can pick the game and the spread. Um, and yeah, let's get right into it. So the first game on the slate is the London morning game. We got Baltimore and Tennessee. Uh, Tennessee is four point dogs. I like the Titans to cover that. Vrabel's got a really good track record against the Ravens. I like the Titans to cover that and win the game. Zach. I like the Titans to cover just barely in a Baltimore victory. Zach, I will give you a free roll bet on this. If you can tell me the name of Bernie Mac's game from Ocean's 13, what is the game he pitched to Al Pacino? No clue. Nuff Hardy said. McDennis. Nuff said. Nuff um, said. <laughs> then they win. When you win, the house wins. Nuff said. Uh, give me the Ravens to cover the four. Bernie Mac, another guy with tragic uh, health events. Oh. Um, what a list we're coming up with. Uh, I, I like uh, Tennessee to cover the four. I like the Ravens to win the game by one, 17-16. Mark Andrews to score a touchdown and Mark Andrews' first touchdown. Brendan once actually said that John Randall was dead live on our show. And yeah, he remember that? He was I do know that. That was amazing. He was not dead. <laughs> and he apologized, <laughs> apologized to the family later in the show. He was he not dead. Because they were uh, definitely watching. <laughs> Panthers, Panthers, Dolphins, Dolphins are 13 and a half point favorites. Um, I think the Panthers give them a scare in this game, but I think Miami wins the game. Zach. I think the Panthers give themselves a scare and only score three points. Uh, <laughs> Miami 34 to three in, a, in an epic slaughter. Yeah, this is the kind of team that Miami just takes care of. Uh, give, give me Carolina to barely cover, though. Give me a 30 to 21. Uh, the Panthers feel like a team that's only going to continue to get worse as the season goes on, and uh, this is a bad matchup for them, clearly. Uh, Miami kills them. I don't know what the score is. It's bad. Uh, Colts, Jaguars. Could have been one of the game of the weeks. Actually, if I knew Watson was going to sit, might have been. Uh, Colts, Jags. Jags are four-point favorites. I like the Colts to steal this game. Jags coming back from two weeks in London. Um, and I like the Jag I get the Colts to steal this game with Jonathan Taylor getting healthy. Zach. I love the Gardner Minshew revenge storyline, the revenge factor, the revenge game. Uh, I still don't think it's quite enough. I think the Jaguars kick a field goal as time expires to win 26 to 23 in a great game. 24 the Colts 20, cover. Jesus Christ. Uh, 24 23 Colts. I feel like um, the place where Connor plugs stuff in behind him hasn't usually been on the screen, and now mm. we see it. Look at that. Where he can oh. plug stuff in. Um, yeah, uh, this is an interesting one. I, I like Minshew back with the Colts. I'd like to say I pitched this to be a game of the week. Uh, you did. You know, no big deal. Sure um, this is a you division did. title game right now. Uh, I will take the Colts to cover and win. Uh, Colts win by 1.2120. I should have put it in the game of the week. I would have had to change two of my graphics. In Anthony's defense, this game's the colors are boring, and the 49ers Browns have fun colors. I do like orange. One of them's um, poo. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that elf cho that's elf chocolate that's, that's, elf, that's, that's the stuff they put on the cool the, drizz, Anthony's defense, the, uh, the best part of the show by far was us talking about the elf so uh we're good yeah yes Look yeah, at that. absolutely Hello? unfortunately oh my that, unfortunately that's what we've become so this got, is how we, go quick, we quickly go around by holding up animals okay i love it Anthony, uh, vikings vikings bears uh bears are three point dogs and i don't understand that at all the bears are rolling right now on the offensive side and they really should have two wins in a row uh i like the bears to outright win the game zach it's a trap uh i think it's a full setup they want us to bet the bears they're begging us to bet the bears i'm gonna bet the bears I think the Bears win. This cat looks a decent amount like a black bear. Bears. Nope. Uh, so over here, we're sharing stuff. I have a I have a map of, of, of old <laughs> old America. <laughs> if that helps. Okay. It's, uh, you can see California is not quite established. You have a yet. ring light. <laughs> yeah. You showed us that you have a ring light. Is that for anyway. your OnlyFans? This is. Good. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> All righty. Yeah, that's for my only fan. Zach's my only fan, though. Uh, <laughs> well, we got Bears and who? Who's Vikings. Bears, Vikings. 
Oh, I think the Vikings beat the piss out of them. I really do. I think this is one of those get-right games where the world's as it should be. Wow, the Vikings really? are better than the Bears. Give me the Vikings 34-9. to nine. Uh, Whoa. Woof. Bear, Bears win. Yeah. Bears win uh Bears win 26 to 24. Justin Jefferson might miss the game, right? He is on yeah. IR. He's fully oh, missing yeah. many games. Okay. Yep. Well, Four was... games IR, yes. Start uh, uh, Jordan Addison in fantasy, everybody. Yep. And I had KJ KJ Osborne. Osborne. I think KJ it's a nice Osborne. add too. Yep. Washington Commanders uh, against the Atlanta Falcons. Uh Commanders two and a half point dogs. I think this is another – I pick a lot of dogs this weekend, but uh, I like the Commanders to outright win the game as well. Uh, I just – I'm not sold on the Falcons. Zach? Uh, commanders can't stop uh, anyone at all for some reason on defense. Uh, I I don't think they can run the ball against the Falcons' defense. It's been really good. I actually think the Falcons kind of beat the, beat the piss out of the Commanders this week. I don't care about that issue. Just ask someone else. Guess we're on to you, BMAC. Okay. You gotta, you gotta pick the game. You have it's, to pick it's a it's great a game. All right. Um, the commander's big weakness is their secondary. Can't stop anyone. Uh the great thing though is the Falcons don't throw at the secondary. Uh so I actually like the commanders in this game. Yeah. Uh give Connor me the commanders to win uh, twenty to seventeen. Connor the game. I'm not gonna do any more of the show with you. Okay. Commanders outright. <laughs> Jesus. He hates picking Washington games. Uh Saints, Texans. Texans are one and a half point dogs. Um, interestingly uh, enough, Dennis Allen and Derek Carr are nowhere near 500 as favorites and are worse on the road while laying points. Give me Houston outright, Zach. Yeah, I feel like this is a full-blown overreaction to the shutout against the Patriots last week. Uh, I think Houston actually beats them by about a touchdown. I, I think it's a mm-hmm. decent game. I think it's a low-scoring, ugly game, but I think the Houston Texans win. Yeah, for the second week in a row, how can it possibly get worse for the Patriots? The team that beat us 38-3 to gets curb stomped by San Francisco on national television. It's going to happen this week. We lose 34 nuts to New Orleans. They're going to go and lose to Houston. Houston wins. God damn it. <laughs> um, what, he, what, what that guy said. Yeah, <laughs> we're all uh, in Houston. Oh, we mean Houston. We mean Good. Houston. Uh, Patriots. Speaking of the Patriots, Patriots Raiders. Uh, Raiders are three point favorites. Josh McDaniels against Bill Belichick. Normally, I'd air with Belichick on that one, but in those games against his former assistants, Tom Brady was playing QB. Uh, I'm going to go Raiders to cover Zach. I don't think the Raiders' strengths, if you can call anything on that football team, a strength. Uh, match up well with new England. I don't care. New England's broken. I think they, I don't, I think the players are not believing in the, in what's going on either. I, the talent gap is bad. Raiders defense played well last week. This is an ugly football game. 14 to 10. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure glad they, they put us back in Las Vegas again this year so they can show that clip of Chandler Jones returning the fumble. <laughs> Right. I don't know if they're allowed to show it with what has happened to Chandler Jones since. Oh, good. Ooh, good. yeah. yeah. They'll, they'll, oh. Show, they'll show it. They have to show it. Myers will be in the game. They have to show it. It's going to be a floating yeah, head yeah, of Myers like plays Mike uh, Tariko over well, Chandler so, Jones. No one ever plays for the men. It, no one ever mentions from that game. It's kind of like the Bill Buckner thing. Like, no one mentions that the pitchers gave up like eight hits in a row before Buckner let it go through. It's like, no one mentions the refs just made up a touchdown for the Raiders in the end zone. Correct. Before that. The, we, get, we get like four of those a year, and everyone pretends the Patriots get calls. No, they just take who, games. From who was that receiver? Former Jacksonville receiver's foot was not in bounds. They said it was in bounds on that play. Yeah, I forget Zay, who it was, but he was Zay not Jones? In bounds. Was it Zay no, Jones? No, it wasn't Zay. It wasn't Zay. No, Zay was still on the Jags. DJ Sharp? No. No. no uh, was, Monday. Anyway, uh, God damn it. We're going to we get lose. derailed. We're going to lose. Instead, no, here's how it's going to happen this week. You ready? Instead of getting our buns handed to us, we're going to lose on some heartbreak field goal by one. 21 20 Raiders. Keelan Cole. Uh, oh. There you go. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a broken, broken, crippled, no, no good team. Uh, they're going to somehow win this game because they. that's how things work in the NFL. Uh, the Patriots will win. I think the Patriots win 23 20. Uh, Eagles, Jets. Eagles are seven point favorites. Jets lost Vera Tucker uh, out for the season. Tough game to lose them. Uh, Jets have never beaten Philly in their team history. 0 and 12. Give me the Eagles to cover. Zach. Uh, I think it's a bad matchup for Philly. Um, actually, I think there's something weird. Jets seem to be like good at home this year. I think the Jets pull out a wild, a wild upset. 
Uh, way too many injuries piling up for the Jets. Give me the Eagles. Uh, yeah, this is my, my Cajon's Jets win. Okay. Uh, Cardinals, Rams. Ca- Rams are seven-point favorites with the return of Cooper Cup. Uh, give me the Rams to win the game, Cardinals to cover, Zach. Give me the Rams to win the game, Cardinals to cover, Mellon. Give me the Rams to win the game and the Cardinals to cover. Oh, whoa, that was a what? Uh, give me the Rams to win the game and the Cardinals to cover. <laughs> Good. I'm, I'm gonna have to really change these graphics, Connor. I wasn't paying attention. I'm not gonna lie. I, I was thinking about. I was getting. A we'll clip find ready. out in the next segment. Uh, I was I getting a clip. I, I was. I was getting literally a clip ready for very That's shortly. Okay. Uh, no, Paul no, no, no. Paul Mellon, Carl Malone during the witching minute because he mails it in. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Give me the Rams to just buns the heck heck out of them. I right, there we go. There Who we did go. I pick? You you have the Cardinals yeah. to win. Yeah. Uh, anyway, is that a Cajones? Nice. You'll see. Giants. Bills. It must be your Cajones. Yeah, Giants Bills like 14 and a half point dogs. Everyone on the Giants team is out. But if anybody knows Josh Allen, it's Brian Dayball. So they'll talk after the game. Bills, <laughs> Bills kill him. <laughs> so I they're going to connect I, after the game. Yep. Bills wish we him. had the unprofessional bullshit clip from Mellon right now. Um, yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, I don't, I don't even know what you picked. Anyways, I'm going to go with uh, the Bills to slaughter the New York Giants. Yeah. If I pretend I don't care about the Cajones, it doesn't look as bad when I'm in last place. You know, I'm, going to, <laughs> you know, I'm like the kid in school. It's like, I didn't care anyway, you know. Yeah, uh, I talked a lot last week oh, about so now you don't actually care trophy that you are in last place. Yeah, now, now you don't care you're in last place. Yeah, last I wasn't in last – no, we were talking about the top three standings, Anthony, not the Cajones. So stop trying to use different situations to um, get yourself out of it. I can't hear you over my glaring trophy that's in my, that's in my eye. Yeah, you put me at the bottom even though I'm right nipping at your heels. Uh, the reason I didn't hear the Rams it Cardinals thing – foreshadow. <laughs> Personification. The reason I did not quite get on the Rams Cardinals is because I did just get a text message um, and it does revolve around this game. We got the Giants bills on Sunday night. Uh, I just got a text from an NFL insider saying that Mike Tirico has had a little bit too much heat on him lately. Um, Unfortunately, our presence in the community of our podcast community has brought a lot of trouble for him with all these recent clips of him coming out. People just can't keep their phones away. So unfortunately, you know, not much has changed, but he has gone a little bit silent uh he's gonna be a little bit more methodical this week about it uh this clip was just brought into me right now got a visual on heading west on 7th street bridge Why is this face extra funny there? <laughs> little, sneak, little sneakier this week. <laughs> I, I Before I even sent the uh, video, I sent him the picture. I was like, I want this picture. <laughs> I eagerly awaited the video. Not that we great, made that clip or anything. Great, give, me the, film. Uh, great give me the giant. Film, give me the Giants to cover. Give me the Giants covered. Bills win 24-21. Oh. Was that Drive? I uh, yes, yes. Yeah, that was Drive. Uh, yeah, great movie. movie. Uh, great I movie. will uh, just take the Bills to kill them, I guess. Closing out our witching minute, Cowboys Chargers on Monday Night Football. Cowboys are two-point favorites. Cowboys playing on turf so far this year. Every time they play on grass, they get they can't, they get killed. And every time they play on turf, they, they win. I like the Cowboys to cover that two points and beat the Chargers. Although Justin Herbert... And the Chargers' offense on on primetime games seems to play pretty 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 flawlessly. But I'm going to go with the Cowboys to win the game. I was pretty alarmed by Herbert only throwing for like a buck sixty against the Raiders, and forty of that came on the final play where every other coach in the league just runs it and punts. But uh, uh, he just didn't play well. Cowboys people are going to want to overreact. Uh, I think the Cowboys actually. I don't think they kill him, but I think the Cowboys get it done. Uh, Twenty eight to twenty four. Cowboys defense is very, very good. The Chargers is not. However, the Chargers, they're not going to move the ball very well against Cowboys. This over-under right now is at 50 and a half. I'd say hammer the under. I don't think that's going to go over 50 and a half right now. Uh, Give me the Cowboys to win the game and cover. That's all I got. 
Uh, yeah, I actually do think the Cowboys sort of kill them. Um, I, I think the matchups are real bad. Uh, the Chargers defense isn't very good. The Cowboys offense needs a get right game. Uh, and the Cowboys defense is so good. Uh, and the Chargers offense is weird and one dimensional and kind of lost. Um, I think the Cowboys kick their little buns in. Uh, I'll say Cowboys 27 to 13. Yeah. So take the.